Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Drew and once again watching Drew the Theme Park Dude. Happy New Year's everyone and thank you for another year of Drew the Theme Park Dude. Today's video I'm going to over every single major coaster opening in 2024 in the United States as well as a couple overseas. Obviously I'm going to have missed a couple rides so please comment down below what rides and roller coasters you're excited to see in 2024. Before I begin it would mean a lot if you could hit that subscribe button as well as that like button and support the channel. Now off to the video. 2024 is going to be another huge year for roller coasters as we have several record breaking coasters, coasters for the whole family, and just coasters that look to be a fun time. The first parks I'll be covering in this video are going to be SeaWorld, and then I'm going to move on to different coaster chains or different theme park chains, and just talking about all the coasters. Obviously, like I said earlier, I'm going to miss some. I'm not going to be able to cover every single one, but I'm trying to get all the major ones, you know, like the main ones, and I do have a couple overseas that I'm going to feature, but not a ton because I just don't really cover a lot of overseas stuff, but. You know, just going to try my best to get as many of the 2024 roller coasters in this video that I can. Penguin Track at Seward Orlando is an all-new B&M family coaster opening in the early half of 2024. This new coaster is the first of a new model from B&M offering their coasters for the entire family. This seems to also be heavily themed as it's confirmed to feature Dark Ride portion, which you all are seeing in this um, No Limits 2 model created by ML Designs right now. Um, and also a coaster part, which you're about to see in a second, that it will launch you out into. And, yeah, I mean, it's going to seem to have a story, which will work well with the Antarctic area of the park. The park stated, race along with your expedition team at up to 43 miles per hour, probably that initial launch that you guys just saw, navigating twists and turns, and narrowly escaping the crumbling hazards of an icy cavern. That's probably what's going to happen right as, like, you launch. Probably the ice is collapsing. There might be screen effects, projection mapping, maybe an animatronic or something to show it moving. I don't know, some way or form to have you escape. That'd be really cool. Um, but, yeah, escaping the crumbling houses of an icy cavern. Reach the end, and you'll make the ultimate discovery, a real penguin habitat. That, I can assume, is what the Antarctica ride ended with and what you can still see now, the penguin exhibit. And I'm assuming you'll still be able to go into the penguin exhibit only. And I'm also assuming you know, this will utilize most of the same queue as Empire of the Penguin, which was the original dark ride that was in this location. But yeah, this new indoor slash outdoor family ride is the most immersive addition to the coaster capital of Orlando. So this brand new dark ride slash coaster hybrid, super excited for it. Definitely going to be there opening day to check this out. And looking forward to Penguin Track when it opens at SeaWorld Orlando in the early half of 2024. Now moving over to Busch Gardens Tampa Bay, we have Phoenix Rising, which will be opening in summer of 2024, and is a B&M inverted family coaster. It has 1,831 feet of track, with a maximum speed of 44 miles per hour. It also will feature on-ride audio as the coaster sails through the Pantopia area of the park and over the Serengeti, offering great views of the animal enclosures. Much like Penguin Track at SeaWorld, these are two different family B&M roller coasters that are a first of their kind, especially here in America. I believe there's some B&M family inverted coasters overseas, but this is the first family one in America. So really neat that um, Seas Parks are getting two original, you know, haven't seen them before type family rides here in the United States. Very much looking forward to this one as well, as it seems to be more of a mystery because we haven't really seen a lot of stuff. That piece of concept art that you're seeing right now is the only thing that's been released, unlike Penguin Track, which we got a lot more stuff, probably because this ride's a little bit probably out there, like farther in 2024 since Penguin Track seems to be earlier. But yeah, this is Phoenix Rising coming to Busch Gardens Tampa Bay next year. Moving on to Cedar Fair, we have Top Thrill 2, opening summer 2024 at Cedar Point, the coaster capital of the world. It has a max height of 420 feet tall, reaches speeds of 120 miles per hour, and will feature a giant spike, which is the main new part of the ride, because that existing top hat was the existing part of the ride, and then they added this um, spike for Top Thrill 2. Um, yeah, the three launches will be featured on the ride, with the first being 74 miles per hour, and then you go backwards 101 miles per hour up that spike, and then back down the spike, hitting that third launch for 120 miles per hour, going over the top hat at that 420 foot tall marker. So right now you guys are seeing that 74 mile per hour launch, and then backwards into the 101 mile per hour launch. This ride will offer incredible views of the park, and it's way longer than the original version at roughly 2 minutes. This coaster will by far be, you know, the most insane ride in the world, at least until Falcon's Flight opens, in my opinion. This ride just looks absolutely terrifying. And this head chopper right there just makes it 10 times scarier. Definitely looking forward to hopefully getting out to Cedar Point. Never been to that park. Definitely would love to get out there. This ride just looks absolutely insane. And yeah, something to look forward to next year in 2024. 
Iron Menace, a huge B&M dive coaster coming to Dorney Park next year. At 160 feet tall, with a drop of 95 degrees, this ride will then go on to reach 64 miles per hour while going through four different inversions. This ride seems to also be very well themed for a Cedar Fair ride, with a steampunk s theme to it, and construction has already begun and is looking for a summer opening just in time for the major crowds. So yeah, the steampunk theme um, looks really neat. Um, seems maybe there'll be some type of thing in the queue because the queue does look incredibly themed this ride you know perfect for this park dorney park a small cedar fair park hasn't gotten stuff in years finally is getting what it deserves this huge bnm coaster absolutely 100 percent a fan for it this will definitely make me want to go check out this park i've never been you know but they have other rides like hydra and stuff that i'd love to check out so you know just having this huge new B&M dive coaster definitely is going to convince me to go check out Dorney Park in the future. Iron Menace, definitely I feel like it's going to be a sleeper hit for next year. Perfect fit for the park. And yeah, I think a lot of people are going to miss out on it. But I think this will be definitely one of the best coasters to open next year. Flash Vertical Velocity is the first Six Flags coaster on this list. And is a Vacoma Super Boomerang opening at Six Flags Great Adventure in 2024. Located inside the Movie Town themed area, right next to the Metropolis Dark Ride, this Super Boomerang is like nothing seen in America. Multiple clones of this ride are at parks overseas, such as in China, but this will be the first of this coaster model in the United States. Six Flag states, experience microgravity as you run upside down almost 100 feet off the ground, zoom through a 180 degree twisted drop followed by a zero G roll back to the vertical tower, reaching speeds up to 59 miles per hour. The train pauses, and then just like the flash, you change directions on a dime and rush backwards along the track. So it looks to be like a two-in-one type of thing where you do, you know, one way and then you go the other way. Really cool boomerang coaster. A lot of boomerangs that are coming, I guess, to parks in the future. Very popular rides. And yeah, super boomerang. So this will definitely be nothing like the family one. Way more thrilling. Looking forward to this at Six Flags next year. Next up, we have one of the smaller additions for 2024, Bobcat, a family gravity group wooden coaster in 2024 coming to Six Flags Great Escape. I got to see the train for this coaster at this year's IAPA Expo in Orlando, Florida, and looks to be a fun family coaster, perfect for this smaller park. Nothing crazy, but a perfect investment for a small park like Six Flags Great Escape. Georgia Surfer is the first ever Intamin Ultra Surf Coaster opening next year at Six Flags over Georgia. This all new coaster will be suitable for the whole family and a thrilling ride to cool off guests on a hot summer day. It also will be the first of these new rides ever, so that's going to be really cool, a new Six Flags prototype. Really cool that they're working with Intamin again because they haven't in a while, so it's neat to see them, you know, working with Intamin to create this new type of ride that, you know, is very unique, I'm sure other parks will soon be getting these ultra surf coasters because they're kind of like those f disco frisbees but you know but they're actually like a water ride so you know a two-in-one works perfect for georgia because i know it gets hot there in the summer um never been to six flags over georgia definitely want to get over there because it's the closest six flags park to where i currently am so that'd be great but yeah this looks like a fun ride in 2024 that i think will be one of those sleeper hits that i think will be super fun Good Gravy is a family of Vacoma boomerang coaster themed to actual gravy boats coming soon to Holiday World. Featuring gravy boat coaster trains, this boomerang will launch you through Grandma's house, which is the queue line in the station, and around the Thanksgiving themed area of the park, including like a cranberry sauce can, um, lots of other giant props. This is going to be a super fun and original idea <laughs> that I've definitely never seen anything like it before. Um, these Vacoma boomerangs for families are making their way over to the U.S. I know they existed overseas. A lot of parks are wanting them now, so it's really cool that Holiday World is getting one. Um, this looks to be like an awesome ride. I think it will be super fun for the family. Well-themed as well, like the queue line right here. Um, you know, the coaster itself being really well-themed. I think this will be a very popular ride at the park. And just fun for a smaller park like Holiday World to be getting one of these, you know, type of rides. So yeah, looking forward to good gravy in 2024 at Holiday World. Fire in the Hole is an RMC complete rebuild of the iconic attraction opening at Silver Dollar City in 2024. This dark riding coaster hybrid being reimagined as the park stated America's largest indoor roller coaster. I also saw the trains for this coaster at IAPA and it looks to be a fun ride with RMC's iconic iBox trains being put in a dark ride setting for the whole family instead of their usual thrill ride. The original Fire in the Hole closed earlier this year and construction on the reimagining is already underway with the planned 2024 opening. So yeah, expect lots of, you know, animatronics, dark ride scenes, 
And yeah, this coaster is just being completely rebuilt. The track's being replaced with RMC track. The trains are being replaced with RMC trains. So you're really looking forward to this reimagining of the iconic ride next year. Circuit Breaker of a Coma Tilt Coaster coming to the all-new Coda Land, originally supposed to open in 2023, but has been delayed to 2024. Coda Land is being built in Austin, Texas, outside the famous racetrack. It is said this park will feature more than 30 rides and attractions, such as a Gerstflower Eurofighter coaster named Palindrome. That's going to be a really cool coaster as well, but this one just stuck out to me the most because it's a tilt coaster, very unique. We don't really see these a lot, you know, in the U.S. I don't think we've ever seen one in the U.S. actually. So yeah, really cool that Vacoma is bringing the tilt coaster back, especially to this all-new theme park. Um, yeah, you just go to the top of the hill, and then the track will move 90 degrees straight down, and then you go through this wacky, really cool-looking layout. So yeah, looking really excited for this new ride next year at the all-new Coda Land. Moving to the overseas 2024 editions, Hyperia is a Mack Hypercoaster coming to Thorpe Park in the United Kingdom next year. This will be the UK's tallest and fastest roller coaster, reaching max speeds of 81 miles per hour and a max height of 236 feet. And this will offer two inversions with a drop of 90 degrees. Really cool Mack Hypercoaster, very similar to the DC Ravels coaster over in Australia, um, but I guess a little bit taller and a little bit larger and more compact. And yeah, perfect coaster for Thorpe Park. Going over to Japan, we have Donkey Kong Minecart Madness, an all-new, highly-themed family coaster coming to Super Nintendo World at Universal Studios Japan in spring 2024. This comes along with a whole new mini land as a part of Super Nintendo World, really cool roller coaster that's going to offer the coaster train to actually jump over sections of the track. Really neat. This is the only clip that had been released by Universal, so that's why it's so limited in the footage. But yeah, it looks really cool, really fun. Really, well, you know, well themed coming to Epic Universe as well in Orlando in 2025. So, yeah, looking forward to it. Lastly, we have Voltron. The final coaster on this list is opening next year at Europa Park in Germany. The ride is a Mack Launch Striker coaster. It is manufactured by Mack Rides, which the owner of Europa Park also owns a Mack, which is why nearly every ride at Europa Park is from Mack Rides. The coaster will reach speeds of 62 miles per hour, feature seven inversions, and have a max height of 106 feet. This coaster will also be in an incredibly themed environment with huge structures and buildings surrounding the ride. This coaster looks to be the best coaster for 2024 in my opinion. It just looks like, I mean, it looks like kind of Hyperia and Velocicoaster combined together because you have, you know, the Mac aspect, but you also have this terrain uh, going up and down inversions. This looks to be by far the best coaster opening next year and really much looking forward to seeing on-ride videos of it next year. Thank you for reaching the end of the video. Um, all of the credits of all this footage that I got will be down in the description below. So make sure you go check that out if you want to see like the full clip or video. But yeah, um, thank you all for watching this video of 2024 roller coasters opening next year. Um, yeah, just really much looking forward to all these rides. Hopefully going to be able to check out as much as I can. Um, you know, 2024 looks like an action-packed year for roller coasters. I know this video is getting long, so I tried to speed it up at the end. But um yeah, there's a lot more that I missed, and if, you know, like, I know there's some Hot Wheels coasters opening up in, um, I believe in Arizona, but, you know, there's a whole thing that might, those might not be open this year, that's why I didn't include them, and there's also, like, no video or promotion for them yet, so, couldn't really show much. But yeah, thank you all for watching, please leave a massive like and subscribe if you are new to the channel, what have games on, show us a brand new video, and yeah, comment down below what coaster you're most looking forward to in 2024. See ya, bye.